You will need a pair of fabric scissors, a ruler or measuring tape, about a half a yard of outer fabric, and optionally about a half a yard of lining fabric and a compass. For my pattern, I cut out a circle with a radius of 6.5 inches, and you can use a compass to do that or whatever method you use to make circles. Then I drew a line directly across the diameter, and then another line 90 degrees directly across that diameter. Then I cut an inner circle with a radius of 3.5 inches, and this is your pattern. Mine's is kind of on the big side because I wanted it to be loose and be able to fit over my hair with the wig on top of it. You will need to cut out a 3 inch by 36 inch strip for the brim of the hat. So with your fabric doubled over, you're going to cut out the big circle, and then you're going to mark on the inside the smaller circle. And I don't know if you can see, but I marked kind of right here where these lines are as well. You're just going to extend these lines onto the pattern because you'll need to see those later for lining everything up. Now you'll remove the bottom layer and cut out this inner circle. When I'm cutting it out, I kind of like to leave it flat instead of just going out and cutting it like this because this inner circle will stretch and you don't want it to stretch. If you're doing a lining, you're going to repeat all of the steps for the circles on the lining fabric, including the marks. So I am use a pin to mark mine. If you do use a pin, make sure you just keep it very short so that it ends up inside the seam allowance and you won't see it. With the right sides together, sew around the circumference of your circle with a 1 4th inch seam allowance. Repeat that on the lining as well. After I sewed my hat, I cut little notches around the circle. This is not necessary since it's on a pretty narrow hem as it is. Now gently flip your hat right side out. Again, you don't want to stretch out this circle, so be very gentle when you're doing it. I like to gently run my fingers around the edge just so everything lays out flat. If you're making yours with a lining, this is the step that you will put it in. So you're going to take your lining that's still inside out and put it inside the hat. Then you'll look on the inside to see where you put those notches before and then find those notches on the lining and line them up. So here's the four marks pinned together. Then you're going to base stitch the hat and the lining together. And there it is basted together. Now you're going to take your strip and fold it in half, wrong sides together, and then pin across the whole edge. Now sew your strip onto the edge of your hat using a half an inch seam allowance. Whether you're sewing this by hand or with a sewing machine, this will be the same, but you're not going to sew starting at the edge of the strip. You're going to go in about a half an inch and start sewing there. And sometimes this side will be longer and then you'll just cut off that edge but this almost lines up pretty perfectly and then you're going to sew from this point to this point make sure you keep the hat out of the way and doesn't get caught in those stitches if you would like you can finish all of these raw edges here and here or you can trim them down or just leave them as is because when you flip that right side out all of those edges are going to be on the inside and you won't be able to see it from the outside of the beret